What's up everybody? Welcome to the Daily Dahlia. I'm Dahlia and today we're going to play with some more BoxyCharm makeup. So, um, welcome to yet another makeup video. <laughs> I'm sure you're tired of them by now, but I'm having fun, so I don't care. Um, so I did get a BoxyCharm box this month. This is August. Um, but I didn't unbox it with you because for some reason I just didn't want to. I don't know. So, anyway, <laughs> I guess I just felt like I wanted to enjoy it by myself for once. So, um, but still I want to show you what I got, so let's do that and I will, um, use the new products plus some old products to get, um, a nice full face, which hopefully it won't make a super duper long video. So, I got five products as usual, two skincare products slash one is like, I guess, a makeup product, I, I'm not sure, and then three makeup products. Um, the first skincare product is this Hydra Glow Sleep Serum, which is triple action hyaluronic acid for all skin types, which I have been using, um, and I don't feel like it really does much. It sort of makes my skin react not well with other products, like it burns a little bit afterwards sometimes, but um, I think that's just because it's, ac it's acid based and that's why. Uh, yeah, so I mean, I'm not like super impressed with it, but whatever, I use it because I got it for free. <laughs> the other thing I got that is a skincare slash makeup cosmetic product is this QMS Medi Cosmetics Active Glow Tinted Day Cream, um, which is a lightweight sheer color adaptive cream with vitamins, blurs imperfections to reveal visibly glowing, even skin, all types and tones. Contains a sunscreen to protect product color, but it does not have an SPF number on it So I think it's sort of safe to say that this is not a Sunscreen product. However, when I looked at the ingredients, it's like all Sunscreen SPF protection UV protection Sunscreen ingredients, so I don't know why they anyway Meta Cosmetics is a pretty pricey brand. I think this product was like a hundred some dollars I also have um, QMS. This is the lip line corrector is the same brand that was like $200. So it's a fancy brand, but I feel like they might be a little bit overpriced. But anyway, we'll give this a try today. For makeup, I also got this Violet Voss Essentials 2 palette, which I guess is the sequel to the Essentials palette that I got previously in my BoxyCharm box, which I think you were there for. What was that like? May or June? I think it was May. But yeah, so well, this palette has like kind of warmer tones, which I actually love. I kind of love this palette. It's really cute. The Violet Voss 2, the Essentials 2 palette, has more cool tones in it, plus also um, neutrals on the top. So as you can see, <laughs> I have already delved in there and given this one a try, and I quite like it. There's quite a few nice shades in here. Mostly I like these top shades here, but this aqua shade is quite nice as well. And of course I love the blue-violet color, but it's very violet. Very blue. <laughs> it's got like blue sparkles in it, but it's nice. So we'll use that today. The other thing I got in the BoxyCharm box is this Clarins Paris Embellisseur Lèvres Mat, which in English on the other side says Velvet Lip Perfector. I guess I was reading the French size, <laughs> but yeah. Um, so I also tried this out when I first got it and it's like a really beautiful color and it like sits really well on the lips. So I'm happy to wear that today, even though I'm gonna have to wear a mask and nobody's gonna see it. And then the last thing is the Big Fat Liner, which is an eyeliner product, a liquid eyeliner. So um, I have also tried this and it, um, it went okay. <laughs> I'm not very good at applying liquid eyeliner, so but I will try that today. So in terms of a full face, I don't know if I'm gonna do because this isn't. Oh my God, <laughs> I dropped it because this isn't an actual foundation. I don't know if I'm gonna like do a real full face like with bronzer and highlighter 
and all that, but I'll probably do some blush. So maybe I'll use one of my new Sailor Moon blushes. Um, we'll see based on the look I create today. So let's get started. So I did just put moisturizer on. I don't know if I need primer. I don't think so because like I've said before, that moisturizer that I use is a bit tacky, so it should be fine. So I'm gonna actually not start with that. Anyway, I, I will put eyeshadow primer on. <laughs> I'm all over the place. So we'll get started with the eyeshadow palette now. Palette, eyeshadow palette. I'm trying, I'm trying to get the word right. I realize I've been saying it wrong all this time, even after watching all of those um, beauty gurus, beauty influencers on YouTube, and they all say it the right way, I guess, and I just been saying it wrong. <laughs> I don't know, friends, I don't know. All right, so I'm gonna start with, oh, I need to get my brushes out. Retrieve them from the safe cave that they're hiding in, from the cat. Start with the base coat, with one of the neutrals. I think I'm just gonna go with a more everyday look since I'm using the tinted day cream. Don't feel that I'm gonna go with one of those cool tones like the violet or the pink or anything like that. Today, yeah, I'll just do neutral today, I think. I'm sure you probably wanna see these bright colors though. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I'll go with the blue violet. That will be my color for the day. <clears throat> I sort of did like cycle through the whole palette just to like test out all the colors and see what they look like. And they're all pretty potent colors. So it's a very nice palette. I'd go with the chocolate brown color for my outer corner. Chocolate brown color looks really dark in the pan, but it's not really that dark on the skin. You have to build it up a little bit if you want some real pigment on there. I sort of spent this whole last week just putting on makeup looks every day and it was like good practice because I like wasn't really striving for anything I was just playing with the colors like I would pick a color that would be the core color and that would be the look for the day so it was kind of just a good way to practice without you know putting restraints I guess what is the word I'm like thinking in Japanese but I can't like find the, <laughs> the natural English way to say it just being free about it oh shoot that was not a good idea should not have done that always do that like I put a big glob on my eye instead of like in the corner like I wanted to Oh boy, man, yeah, I really did do a big glop, didn't I? Fucked out. Not too worried about it. There we go. It's better. What I might actually do is just kind of use that violet color as an accent color and instead do like something a bit more neutral. So I really like this rose gold color, this one here. It's like really light, but it makes a great um, neutral, like natural look, I think. So I'm gonna put that like as the core and then use some blue violet as maybe like a liner or something. Although I have to use the big fat liner too, so I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it's super duper subtle, but it's very pretty. Got like pinks and purples in there almost, I feel like. Um, 
So this purple, I mean, it's kind of, no, it's not really. It's sort of a shimmer, but not really. So I'm not gonna use my finger. Um, I mean, I don't know. I already created like a really nice kind of more neutral look, so. Hmm. Smaller fluffy brush and kind of blend it out a little bit. I have to also remember that I'm going to use that big fat liner, so there isn't a whole lot of point to doing a lot of color because it will mostly get covered up. actually not super pigmented even though they're quite bright so they don't look like heavy when you put them on god geez i always end up with a super uneven look all right that'll do i actually <laughs> retroactively realized that I'm going to be putting a liquid eyeliner over powder eyeshadow. So this might not go super well. <laughs> but, oh well. We'll try. Wish me luck, my friends, because I am not good at this. I'm trying to do a cat eye. Did it work? Who knows? <laughs> Alright, well, so much for a natural look. <laughs> I have definitely gone a little hard on this eyeliner, so let's take a look, see. Well, maybe it's not so bad. Ugh, it looks so chunky though. <laughs> like, my lines are so shaky and uneven. Let me see if I can even them out a little bit without making it worse. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> All right, well, so I think eyes are pretty much done except for the mascara. I'm not really gonna do an under eye, I don't think. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do this guy. Ooh, maybe I just needed one pump, I don't know. It comes off like super dark, but I guess on my face it's not so bad. Maybe it tans me a little bit. It's supposed to be like, color adaptive I guess oh god the way it smells <laughs> it has like a floral smell but it's like it smells like your grandma's house or like your grandma's perfume you know what I mean <laughs> like ugh, I do not like it not that there's anything wrong with those perfumes but I don't like small small floral smells So this is likely to make my nose itch. Have I tanned? <laughs> I think so. Mm, I'm gonna put a little concealer on also, just for the red spots. I mean, I feel like I put it on, but it like didn't do anything. I mean, I guess it's a day cream, right? So 
vitamins blurs imperfections to reveal visibly going in his skin so it's like not really foundation like it's tinted i mean it's not a foundation at all it's a date cream but it's tinted but i mean i don't feel like i achieved anything from that so oh my cat eyes both look very different don't they now that i'm looking at them yeah, one is way higher than the other. Oh well. I don't care. <laughs> I am going to the store today, but... Nobody's gonna notice, I'm sure. Okay, so now that the day cream is on... I might do... I don't have, like, my skin's not so bad today. Which is really nice. I appreciate that skin. Thanks for that. I'm gonna do just a little bit of concealer. Don't think I really even need to do an under eye. Just a little bit in this corner of my mouth where skin's getting really dry for some reason. Too bad, the unevenness. I keep looking at it. <laughs> it bothers me so much. Okay. I don't even think I need to put powder on or anything. Just a little bit of cover up I did there. Alright, I'm gonna put a little bit of blush on. Should I go with this one? I mean, it's a very light look. Or this one. They look very similar. But I think I'm gonna go with the sort of more peachy toned one, which is this one. Oh, oh, okay, stay. I'm knocking everything over. Okay. I haven't been blush on in a long time, actually. This latest eye looks I do. I don't know if that accomplished anything. I can't tell. My skin tone is kind of uneven. <laughs> Yeah. Just something. <laughs> it ended up being kind of natural except for the cat eye. And then probably once I put mascara on, the cat eye won't be so obvious. So, uh, oops. let's go ahead and do, oh, uh, let's do mascara first. I'm going to keep noticing it and it's going to drive me nuts. I reapply that glitter too. Well, maybe not. No, it's fine. So, is it a little better with the lashes, the mascara? I mean, kind of. It's a little overpowering. I don't love this style of eyeliner where you have like this big fat applicator. Like, it's very thick. It's like a marker. But it's really thin on the top, so I don't know. I'll have to keep trying and playing with it. See how it goes. But not really my style. I feel like I need falsies also to like 
counteract or like match the thickness of the liner. Anyway, this is the last step. So I'm going to put some Clarins Paris Velvet Lip Perfector. And look, it's got like, I already tried it. It's really beautiful. It's got like a, like a soft, like, uh, fur? What would you even call this? Cloth applicator? That like stains it. It's so interesting. But let's put it on. Oh, I'm going to put chapstick on first because I let it still dry already. Okay. And dark color, but not overpowering. Hmm. I like this lip liner or this lip lip perfector. I like how it's Clarence Paris, but it's made in Korea. <laughs> That's funny. But anyway, this is the final look. I guess it's not unnatural. Not unnatural is the wrong word, but it's like, it's not like bad for an everyday look. Don't mind the super uneven cat eyes. I'll get better at those one day. Well, that's it for me today, guys. It's actually one of my shortest videos. Well, how about that? <laughs> um, so thanks for watching today. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.